Douglas Barton for tonight's headlines. Newsnight has visited the small town of Grangetown, sandwiched between ICI's Wilton Works and the British steel plant at Blackburn. In an urban society, everything connects. Each person's needs are fed by the skills of many others. Our lives are woven together in a fabric. But the connections that make society strong also make it vulnerable. The inhabitants have left. The streets are abandoned. The desecrated shells await the demolition man. It was a family atmosphere, and the people helped each other out in the streets. There was a lot of, all the front and back doors were open, and people ran in and out of the houses and the children played happily together in the streets. As we strolled in our parks, went west for a dance, took a boat on the river, As we marveled at our palaces, in the English meadow, within the sound of English birdsong, under the English oak, There was housing here as well, um, and that's, although well, there's nobody in the park at the moment, it is heavily used. Good values, good behaviours. I was brought up with a very old-fashioned mum and dad who, you know, taught me right from wrong. My great-grandfather had 11 brothers and sisters. They had 43 children. Between them, they had a further 159 children. There are seven called George, and five called Victoria. One of those was my father. Some 20,000 drops have been shed around the town in the past two decades. but the rest of it's gone back to grass. So my old Grangetown's dead with the steelworks that give it birth. But the new Grangetown is still the same. It's folk of the salt of the earth. Well, they told me it would be okay.
proud of our past and confident in our future, we are generally considered a lively, friendly people. Jaden and Pickers, Wood Street in the morning. The memories I have of these streets are golden. Lang and Stapleton, Messerman, Bourne. This was the grange down where I was born. Like many industrial towns, it's a mixture of old and new. Older terraced houses and newer spacious estates. were the heart of Grange Town. The Victorian terraces built for the families of men who beat the ore from nearby Eston Hills to the iron foundations of the Industrial Age. As I headed down the hill, I met Phyllis and Ida at the bus stop. Yeah, we wanted to stay, but we couldn't. We weren't allowed to. We had to go out. We had to move out. You wanted to stay in those houses? Yeah, yeah we all wanted to We were all settled. Neighbours in Grangetown for over 40 years, but they told me no more. So, so why did you have to move out? God knows. Well, we had no other choice.
second. Fancy a pint. <laughs> yes, go on then. Well, it's, it's more than a garden centre. I mean, you can get pets, wicker, <laughs> fragrant candles. <laughs> 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 Town sits in the shadow of every type of industrial plant going. A port, a chemicals works, a power station and steel mills. I wanted to see Roy's hometown, to get a feel for the place that formed his view of the world. And so, we're on a day trip to Grangetown. Suddenly the light was gone. What had happened? You 
can protect yourself and your family. And later on, we will show you what steps to take. Good night. 